Hi, I'm Josh Fidel. I'm a Principal Solution Architect with Advisix, and today I'd like to talk to you about modernizing your data center with HCI, DHCI, and cloud. As we all know, back in the early days of technology, the mainframe was the primary delivery mechanism for compute. As we evolved, we moved to servers. And these servers normally had a single OS and a single application. Then in the 90s, virtualization started to take hold. And inside of virtualization, we have compute, we have memory, and the big secret of virtualization, shared storage. Now, we can share our compute and memory across all the hosts in a cluster. Memory is limited to what's inside a single host, but shared storage is available to all the hosts in the cluster. And because we are good engineers and we know how to architect traditional or vintage architecture, we have two controllers on our storage. We have two fiber channel switches and everything is cross-connected. However, in the 2000s, along came software-defined storage. What is software-defined storage? Well, we're moving the paradigm back into servers, but we are putting compute, memory, and storage back into the servers, but we are using software to abstract those resources and share them amongst all the hosts in the cluster. This is what's known as HCI, or hyperconverged infrastructure. The problems with hyperconverged infrastructure then become how do we configure our software? What kind of availability do we want? What kind of resiliency do we want? And what kind of performance do we want? All of these are controlled by the software. Now there are many flavors of HCI. There's a number of vendors that you can look into, things like uh, vSAN ready nodes, VX Rail, Nutanix appliances. Uh, even Lenovo has an HCI appliance that is available to you. But if you don't know how to configure for these factors, then you're going to be lost when it comes to HCI. After HCI, we have DHCI, which stands for Desegregated Hyperconverged Infrastructure. The reason we came with DHCI is because in a hyperconverged infrastructure, if you want to expand your compute, you still have to pay the licensing as if you were expanding compute and storage. If you want to expand your storage, you still have to pay the licensing as if you are expanding your compute as well. This adds cost. By desegregating HCI, we move back to the model of compute and memory in a host. And then we have additional storage attached to those hosts and shared amongst all the nodes in the cluster. Now, a lot of people would say, well, that just sounds like converged infrastructure. Technically, it is, but it still use, utilizes software-defined storage, and it still has a single control plane, which would be your KVM interface or your Acropolis interface or your vSphere interface. Now, we've evolved even farther beyond that, and of course, we have today cloud. Cloud is great. Everyone loves cloud, except there are factors you need to take into account when you look at moving towards the cloud. It is not simply a lift and shift of your applications and infrastructure. In many cases, you'll have to look into refactoring your applications. In some cases, 
you'll have to look at how do I translate my infrastructure today to cloud infrastructure. You'll have to look at how can I back up my cloud infrastructure? How can I back up my data in the cloud? This I will address in another video, but right now, these are the types of considerations you have to take care of if you're looking to modernize on either HCI, DHCI, or cloud. My name is Josh Fidel. This has been Modernizing Your Data Center with HCI, DHCI, and cloud. Thank you for listening.